Welcome to another episode of George Directs Coffee. Uh, today's guest is just me and my cousin. <laughs> As always. Oh, excuse me. This is our first taste. Don't tell me yet. Let me... Thoughts? You go first. All right, so first, before we start drinking it, we're, we're drinking Cafe La Lareno from Lares. Um, it has a strong smell, kind of like Bustelo. Yeah. But um, it's like a subtle strong. Like it's it's strong, but it's not like. This is my second favorite. Out of that four, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It has like a, a like a strength to it that's not like overpowering. Yeah. Like you know when you do like when you you drink like uh, coffee. It's like Bustelo without the twang on. You know what I mean? Like that little oomph that Bustelo has. It's more subtle than. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a smoother like. If, yeah, it's good. That's it. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. drink it. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> but a lot of we like it, then that means you'll like it. So that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Drink up, fool. I like the the packaging. It has the original Puerto Rican flag on it. For anybody, you know, Franklin will say uh, it's totally from Dominican Republic. But no, bro, it's too blue, too red, evenly, bro. But anyways, that's for another day. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, I always drink. I always drink my coffee black the first time, just so I can get a, uh, the flavor notes mm -hmm. in your mouth. Does that be sound familiar? Yes, it does. That's a blue pre prelude by uh, uh, George Sermon. I, I don't know how to think. George Burgos. The, no, yeah. the George Burgos version is called Lilo's Prelude. Oh. It's on the uh, the Lo-Fi Coffee uh, album. That it's does it seem kind of loud? A little bit. Should I lower? Yeah. Let's go right there. I like this beat though. Is it just amplified because of the thing? No, I, well, these are picks. It's, Remember these pick up? Yeah, pick up. That like, weird yeah. outside sound? Yeah. And we also got the machine running, so. Yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, this is episode 19. 19. We're getting close. We're getting close to 20. One more. <laughs> One more and then we break. 20. And then uh, uh, on our uh, 21st episode, we're going to have uh, 21 Savage join us. There we 21, go. 21. 21. 21. This uh, is your invite. Thank you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I won't see you. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we didn't write anything down. We kind of like just came over here. And started, but this I is the episode before I leave for a week. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the... The whatever episode. Uh, I'm trying to get Jonathan back on here because Jonathan's going to be... Uh, he's going to be the, the other host or guest that yeah. takes your spot when you're not around. You know? Content, content, content. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, so everybody who's been listening, thank you. Uh, again, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. YouTube. Google Podcasts and, and YouTube. Um, but yeah. So, uh, let's talk about Chente, bro, because I think that podcast was dope. I, 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 Chente I, and Alberto style. Style, yo, bro. I I listened to it and that brought um, you back. Well, it made me break out the DJ Nelson the Flow album, which is crazy because then you hear all the sounds like how he was breaking it down. Then you listen to the Flow album, you think about like how he uh, it has that like that same like. Uh, tempo, yeah, almost like uh -huh. it's the same. It's almost like how Jamaicans have or reggae they have the rhythm beat. How uh, it's like almost the same yeah, sound yeah. for almost every song, but they tweak it mm -hmm. to make it sound a little, a little different. Yeah, uh, yeah, because he was bringing it down, and then I was listening to it, and I'm like, so I I had the flow. Uh, it was a bootleg, but on, on a tape. Yeah. So there's a lot of songs that didn't make it onto that tape. Mm -hmm. But um, there's some gems on there, bro. Oh, heck yeah. And then, like, the the Cavalucci track, which had, like, that real, like, hip-hop beat to yep. it. Yeah, that, like... But you could tell it's so, like, 90s because it was that, like... <laughs> It was around the time that they were like, Madaro, Madaro, yeah, yeah. Madaro, 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 Madaro. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> like, so it's crazy because it brings me back to, like, my childhood, but, because everything right now is so polished with the music. Like, and then when you think about it, they were kids. 
Yeah. Like they were mad young, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So were. all those records were <laughs> yeah. basically one of us taking out a cassette and like, yo, let me let yeah. me record this real yeah. quick. I think, um, but what I what I wanted to address was, um, so I only listened to one podcast prior, which was the Bad Bunny and Chante. But it was a like it was a good podcast, but it was a disaster. It was too much like too many people getting involved. Like, you were telling drunk me, as hell. yeah, but you were telling me like he he's like now he, yeah now he cleaned it up where yeah yeah so I could let, try like, to do more one on one and then he he'll do other podcasts where he has like the boys on yeah yeah bullshit and shit. because I, that's why I stopped listening to it like I, I was like I can't it's too much too much going on yeah but um uh. Man, I, I didn't know that about Alberto Stanley. Like, I didn't. I didn't even know that he was out in Colombia. Period. Like, yeah. I remember hearing that he was out there with Nicky Jim, but that was. Yeah. But then again, you know what I mean. He never kept on making music like that, or. Yeah, yeah. Or hit. No, I don't want to say that. Okay, so I, I, so anyway, because like, he was making hits, but not hits like over here that we would hear it, but hits in Colombia, in Colombia where he's still which active. which. Which opened the doorways for Balvin, Maluma, and uh, Carol G. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy because I was listening to it and I'm like, wow, like I didn't realize the influence that he had out there. And sometimes you're like, you're not a prophet. But that's why Colombians love reggaeton so much is because when Puerto Ricans don't make it in Puerto Rico, they make it in Colombia. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. how it worked. Yeah. And that's why there's so many Colombians that. That mess with... Yeah. It's all right. You, you already started off like three minutes. Huh? I just... I'm so used to editing the curse words because on this podcast, we're keeping PG uh, as far as the video stuff. It's, yeah. it's still with the algorithm. Right? For the most part. For the most part, yeah. Um, don't mess up my sponsors, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, it's crazy because like, I didn't know he, he went through all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and he wasn't... He wasn't like... They were showing, like, the prison and everything. And yeah. I've seen those, like, you go to Netflix, they have, like, the deadliest prisons yeah. in the world and stuff. But, like, man, I think what what really hit me that I got, like, emotional was when he was talking about his mom. Like, oh, heck yeah. Where he was, like... When uh, he had to call his call, mom. Call, and he's like, mom, okay. <laughs> and then, they like, the whole prison was, like... And he was, you can't... Like, that, that was heavy, bro. Oh, like, heck yeah. Like, yeah, I caught myself getting, like, emotional on it. It was just, like... <laughs> Nobody wants to call their mom with some bad news. Like yeah, that. yeah, for real. Or like you hear it, she saw it on the news, uh-huh. and then like you know, so. that's crazy. Mama love you. <laughs> yeah, mama love you too, <laughs> for real, bro. Mom's that. Like, I'm... Yeah, yeah. It was it was brutal, bro. Hey, if I start tearing, it's because I have um, yeah. <laughs> eye drops. Eye drops. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, it's crazy because I was just like, uh, the story was wild, bro. Because yeah. he went out there with nothing. Mm-hmm. His mom gave him ten bucks, and then he made it big. And then when he came out, I think I think he had to sell like his jewelry or whatever. But see, I didn't. What I didn't understand was how him and Nicki Jam are not. They're not like making music anymore. But he didn't speak ill of Nicki Jam. No, yeah. So like, I don't know if there's like just some contractual stuff that he's dealing with. But like, it could be. Yeah, because he didn't make it seem like he he had like beef with him. Mm-hmm. He just said I can't. We you know we can, I can't speak on that when I'm recording. Yeah. With each other, but and I listened to the the legendas that you were talking about with Carol G. Yeah. But it's just samples. It's not. It's like they're like a yeah, minute long. Yeah, it's just samples with her singing over it. Yeah, it was like a minute long. But like, just to think that this younger crowd, that like, yeah, people that are not our age, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, that's gonna be songs that you know the girls are gonna be listening to soon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In a few years, because Carol G's young. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So when they hit that, like. The real height of their yeah, height, like so career, they, like that's breaking them down to learn. You know what I mean? If they're yeah. interested in music, yo, all right. What, when the hell did this song come yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. Thirty years ago, forty years yeah, ago. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of like seven, eight years old. That bad one is gonna be there, Hector Lavoe. Exactly. And with how ours was, uh, um, yeah. Mark Anthony. Uh huh. You know, so and I get it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. down with it. Like I, I'm yeah, not, yeah. Like, it's still coming to the culture, of mm-hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? So like, and that's the good thing about like Puerto, you know, reggaeton music is that yeah. it always keeps. They all are friends with each other, and they all make music with each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, how is it that we singing and they are still coming on with tracks, and, and solo projects, and solo projects? Yeah, yeah. But it's crazy because it's like, it, it they just or El Alfa with. It's Truco Truco making an EDM track. 
<laughs> so stupid, bro. But tell me but the it, song you find. It, it is. It's good. I like. I like the the song. Estrucha, estrucha. Yeah, whatever that the hell that means. But yeah. it's a dope track, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. But it's dope. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not. They're never saying anything good either. They're talking about uh, what was it Coke? Coke uh, drinking uh, and partying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> hey, bro. If, if it sells records, it's gonna sell, bro. Like that's it. It's, bro. But yeah, Mike yeah. Towers, thank you for your album. I, Again, I, I really appreciate it. We were listening to it right now while we're, we're setting up. Mm-hmm. We almost made it through the whole album. Almost, yeah. Not that it took us long because everything was on here. I think we were just like just listening, listening to, the to, the to the album. Yeah, we were yeah. having our own listening party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> without Mike Towers. <laughs> yeah, without Mike Towers. <laughs> but you know what? Last night, so I was trying to make a logo for the new uh, the new brand, and. Um, I was having a hard time. Typography is, is something that I'm just not good at. But, um, man, it's it's hard getting back into, like, designing after, like, months of not designing. When's the last time you seen me sit down and design something? Oh, wow. Months, right? Yeah. My last design was the this, the, the, the coffee st- the yeah. stickers. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, I was just watch- I was watching the videos, the Mike Towers, all the, the music videos. And the music videos, that's okay. I'm still upset about the ping ping though. Yeah. Mike, we'll figure something out, bro. Yeah. I'll hit you up. Yeah. I'll text you right now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. I just, I'm gonna one day cross paths with Residente Rene, and I'm gonna be like, yo, this is, um, I'm gonna say the name of my brand, but I'll bleep it out. So this is. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh come by to the studio so you, you could be on the podcast yeah bro that'd be dope to get like those artists mm-hmm. you know like uh-huh. that's the goal bro he uh-huh. lives in LA now yeah I know that's all these it. fools are about to be start coming over here yeah. soon I know. the migration is happening <laughs> <laughs> first they moved into Havistro well they moved into the Bronx then Havistro yeah. then Florida yeah. and then did you know? Yeah, I'll give you a little history. Go for it. After the Jones Act, which allowed, which screwed over Puerto Rico in the long run, but in the beginning was the reason why Puerto Ricans were allowed to go to to New York mm-hmm. to find the work. Yeah, they sat in a seven forty seven, pretty much with lawn chairs, mm-hmm. like as well. They yeah. were like they were they Puerto Ricans were the Mexicans of New York. Yeah. And I'm not trying to be like racial on it. No, like, no, no, like, that's like, what it was. Like they came to New York for work. Yeah. Like after the cane fields and everything, and then the U.S. robbed everything of it. After the U.S. took everything out of Puerto Rico and killed Puerto Rico, they were like, yo, come and hang out in New York and yeah. we'll screw you guys over some more. A lot of good things came out of New York because of it. Yeah. Me being one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But uh, thanks, mom and dad. Um, but generally we'll speak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I just think uh, a lot of people don't realize that, like, the, the struggle of, like, Puerto Ricans when they first came out. Oh, and so let's segue to this. The West Side Story is coming back out. The remake. Have you seen the trailer? No. You never, you don't, yo, bro. All I know is that, because uh, that lady's still alive. The, the one who played the, uh, man, it's Rita Moore something. The one who originally was in the, you never seen West Side Story? I probably have. I just don't remember, bro. Like, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I wasn't. I didn't plan to pay attention while I was watching it. So. It, had, it had to do with Puerto Ricans and, and, and white people. Is that the, the one that they're snapping like crazy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. I'm a jet. I'm yeah. <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> exactly, yeah. They made, they made a Lil Manuel, I guess, made the new one. Oh, yeah? Or produ- helped produce the new one. So it's going to be a musical. It is, oh, but yeah, it was, it the movie was a musical. Yeah. Even though I'm not a big fan of musicals, there are some musicals that I do. You know what's a good musical that nobody really talks about? Okay. Sanky Panky. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Sanky. Today is chicken day. <laughs> what does he say when he's online? <laughs> Um, you want a piece of me? <laughs> <laughs> a piece of me, get a piece of me, or something like that. 
<laughs> oh, man. Oh, I gotta watch that again. You know, they have, there's like three, they made like three movies. Yeah. But it's always like the, the, the whatever version that one is. They have yeah. it on YouTube, like the full version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch that now. So. All right, hold on. Record change. How does it look like this? Just keep looping it, bro. That's like a bad beat that starts. It's like you can't get this. <laughs> we gotta get the samples. <coughs> we gotta do the soundboard. We'll have, have Jonathan help us out with that. But. Can't say Minutos with the 15 minute mark. Um, what are we talking about? What's Second pack. Second pack. Do you want a piece of me? <laughs> pizza. What pizza? <laughs> yeah. I think what makes it funny is, is his face. Yeah. Like his, his, his like mannerisms. Uh huh. Where he's like. And it's always like not corny jokes, but like. Stuff that you wouldn't really, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's it has this like Charlie Chaplin like, yeah, m- you know mannerisms with like random phrases. <laughs> yeah, because that's how Dominicans talk. Everything is in a phrase. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I can't. I can't tell Crackers there's no Dominican right now yeah, to yeah. come and defend uh, it. My so bad, my bad. I'll stop. I'll stop it, but I won't call it slander. But. <laughs> Yeah, we came to this one unprepared, but it's all right, though, because we're 17 minutes in, and that's good. Yeah, that's good. Quick episode. No, nah, what's the cut it, bro? That's why the, the 10 minutes was it? No, yeah. That's why. Yeah. I'm not saying to cut it now. Well, it's making it <laughs> short, bro, because then I know. Um, Mike Towers. Um, who else? We're not talking about... XRP. Oh, hold on. Actually, we won't talk about XRP, but did you see about the Bitcoin conspiracy? Which one? All right, so uh, this is coming from the YouTube University. So you can, guys, don't quote, quote me on this. As the guys on Flagrant say, uh, factor feelings is all feelings. <laughs> yeah. So I got the guy who created. We don't know anything about what we're talking about. Yeah, so yeah. This, this, this is us. not. This is definitely not any financial. Yeah, advice. no. Don't listen to us. Yeah, yeah. Anything. This is a conspiracy talk about cryptocurrency. Um, so apparently, the guy who created Tron, TRX. Yeah. Um, I I don't know if he if he got some beef with somebody who owns a lot of Bitcoin. Excuse me. So on four chan, apparently he said, "Well, they're they're assuming it's him." Yeah. Someone on four chan was like, "Yo, there's gonna come a crash on Bitcoin, and it's gonna mess up the market." The next day, we had that crash. first crash. Yeah. A couple of days later, they did it again, and we had that second crash. And they said that nothing's going to change till that person who owns all those Bitcoins gets liquidated completely, which hopefully it happens and then puts regulation. Somebody texted me this morning, like, XRP's at 70 cents. And I was like, what are you complaining for, bro? It's a buying opportunity. Buy more. Buy more. Buy red, sell <laughs> green, bro. Exactly. Come on, bro. That's what are we talking about? But so, this is not financial advice. This is not. This is this is all feelings right here. <laughs> not that I want to reference a different podcast, but this is definitely all feelings right here, bro. So yeah, I, I don't know. Something's gonna happen. We still have a week, two weeks, two weeks. Well, they say the ending of June is one. Well, there's two meetings supposed to happen, and they've been pushing them back. One tomorrow, one the twenty seventh. You think they're gonna push it back? The one tomorrow can't be pushed back because tomorrow's the third. Like, they only have allowed three times to oh, okay. push back tomorrow would be the third time. Oh, okay. What well, lawyer, did you get that information wrong? Uh, Twitterverse. Come on. Oh, oh John, uh, James Dean? Oh, no. no, no. I, I can't remember who I read it, but I, yeah. it was like one of those. But it's a closed It's a closed one, right? You're not allowed yeah. to, like, uh-huh. listen in on it. The one tomorrow and the one on the 27th, they're both closed. Meetings. Yeah. Something about the Sunshine Night. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, okay. Damn, bro. They love been paying attention. So they were, they were talking about um this thing. Um, Gary Gensler. Yeah. He's basically like he, he's gonna have to like hurry up, because like 
it's stopping him from doing his job. This lawsuit is stopping him from doing like what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah. But then that lady, the, she just signed into the Ripple board, uh -huh. the former treasurer of the U.S. I, I, come on, you can, take it for what it is. I mean, I don't know. But how are you going to ruin your reputation like that and jump in with a company that doesn't? And then the lady that's on the, the new bill, who is she a part of? So, hold on. I'm talking about Rosie. Oh, that's your name, Rosie? Yeah, Rosie something. Exactly. Rosie Rose uh, or something. She's, bro. Don't. She said the train already left, bro. Watch what they... No, what is it? Uh, 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 watch what they do, not what they say. Exactly. And the 1% has been what? Buying. Buying. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, pay attention. Come on. <laughs> Cheers, bro. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> But anyway. Yeah. In other news. In other news. Oh, I just found out that I got a Miles Davis record that was inside my this record uh, holder. And how long have you had that record holder? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for real, bro. <laughs> it's been and like you never noticed that there's another one. I didn't. I just, I just pulled it up. I'm like, why there's two records in here? And then uh, when I pulled it out, it said uh, Miles Davis. So I got another jazz record for the next episode. We just gotta get that. That's just like eighteen hours. Oh though. hey, whoa! What you do? I know it's all right. I I I I just stopped adding the beeps because it got annoying. Like yeah. trying to put the. Beep. I just so when you're talking, it's just like, <laughs> yo, what's up? <laughs> you're a horrible Japanese movie. I need you to come. Here. It's a bad dub. Yeah. Oh, you know, uh, I posted up a picture of the break, the the brewing pipe, yes. the coffee one hitter, yeah, and uh, and uh, the one hitter for coffee, not the, the one hitter, hitter for coffee, yes, and uh, James Hoffman liked my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna reach out. I want to interview him one day. That would be dope. Yeah, when they go to Europe. Yeah, I met some guy last night. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> easy, tiger. Yo, are you a lady of the night? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Um, I'm not finishing that story. Yeah. Oh, do you know what today is? Today marks a year since we did the Space Jam wall. Yeah, I'm up on my phone. So shout out to those guys out there. Honor, Confused, Rattler, Clex, um, Torque, and... Yeah. Joe. Oh, yeah, is it was, still upwards. I have no idea. I haven't been. Damn, it's been a year. A year. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That was before the Murphy's Ranch. Yeah. So it's crazy because there was the art commissioner's house yeah. for Pomona. Uh -huh. That's wild, bro. I seen it. It came up in my memories today. I was like, wow, dude. Yeah. It flew by, right? Yeah, like I didn't realize that was I didn't know about it either. That was dope. It was a fun two right, it was like two weekends we or two like th two or three weekends because yeah. well there was a lot of stuff that went down. Good time. We're supposed to try to hit up the desert when it gets cooler. Yeah. To my like um, the Sultan Sea area, which is like a lot of abandoned spots. So yeah. I can't wait. That'll be good. Yeah, a year flew by, bro. Once again, thank you, Mike Towers, for the. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't stop listening. Like, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, it's dope. It's dope. It's dope. Who do you think is going to come out with another album like that? Rapping? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll tell you. You know why I had an issue? I thought I kind of didn't want to listen to the Mike Towers album at first. Why? Because I'm old ass. Twenty-four minutes. 
<laughs> because of um, I thought it was uh, Mickey Woods. Yeah, I, I kept associating with him with Mickey Woods. I can see that. Yeah, but that song with Mickey Woods is dope too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's weird. He found that link. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there were so many. There's there's a few guys that were rapping, but he he just. It's a dope album. Yeah, it, it's legit. I sent it to Franklin. I told him, I was like, here's an album for you to listen to. Yeah. And he goes, oh, this is dope. But then <laughs> he, go, he sends me a text back. He goes, he has a, na- a, a track called Baguettes. And uh, a, a few years ago, I was like, yo, if I ever drop a rap album, like, you know, yeah. just talking nonsense, I don't be like, uh, um, don't forget, oh, uh, don't forget the Baguettes or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I was going to be called like Dirty Coffee or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so you got to be there. <laughs> um, yeah. Also, uh, Fr- Franklin sent me a picture of a turd. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "Thanks, bro. Thanks." I, like, that's the last thing I wanted to see <laughs> at seven in the morning was a picture of a turd you just took. Us guys, we're we're <laughs> we're disgusting, bro. Hey, Franklin's disgusting. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I took oh a picture of a turd. <laughs> bro. I don't think I've taken a picture of a turd. I was like, bro, thanks. Like, this is a guy. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I fin hate you, bro. That's fair. Yeah. That means so, he loves you. Yeah. Well, it's been real. It's been good. This is a nice little, you know, easy. You know, I think I think we we quick little we chat. Just, yeah, we've been doing. Back to back. I think the last time we came, I had we had a little bit more time to mm-hmm. not discuss it, but like review yeah. the music video. So we were able to come up with a conversation. We did our homework that day. Yeah. AKA listen to Mike Towers. This is a bangers, bro. It's going. It's, this is a slowly becoming the Mike Towers uh, podcast. Yeah. For now. I mean, Bad Bunny. He's he's, he's quiet right now. Yeah, he's, He's cruising. Yeah, yeah. He gotta he's, let, at a, he's at a smooth 55. He's got to let the guys in the bottom eat, bro. Exactly. He's like, I already made my Everybody money. needs to take their turn. And my tires is on. He's raining right now. No, he, yeah, he's, taking, he's taking the, the, mm-hmm. the, the rain on. So. So, yeah. I'm going to put on my body my tires number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> for booking. Yeah, for booking. And then have no pictures of my tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Yeah. Well, that's it. We reached the destination. Cheers, bro. Guys, cheers. Have a safe flight, bro. On the next one. Peace. Peace.